Hey, what's good everyone? Today we're gonna to take a look at a sneaker re-release by New Balance, the 1906R in the OG metallic gold colorway from 2009. That's when they initially released, just slightly different. And we're gonna take a look at the details right away. So let's go. So here it is, the 1906 RA, which is the actual name of the color code, metallic silver gold, OG colorway from 2009. And this one here has the exact same mid and outsole like the 2002R from the 860 V2. I think the original tooling of the 2002R and this one here got lost. And it is a lot of money and a lot of work to redo the tooling. So they went the cheap way and took the 860 V2, made an outsole, which is fine though, because it looks amazing. It's very comfortable and has done a job already in the 2002R and very successfully so because it is a crowd favorite. Everybody loves the 2002R and they're selling out quickly. Everybody wants one. They they just look great. And so does this one. Very similar, but different. Same, same, but different. In contrary to the 2002R, this is an all synthetic upper. This is a hardcore running shoe. This is just silver synthetic material with white and gray mesh. And that's it. You have a little bit of a TPU heel counter here for stability and some gold applications thrown into the silver here. As you can see also some black, of course, and only one piece of 3M at the heel. So all 3M fans gonna be crying because this is the only one I'm crying as well because I like 3M a lot, but it is what it is. Uh, this is a 2000 runner and with all the silver and synthetic materials, that's just how running shoes were made back then. And if you like ASIC shoes, or if you like the New Balance 530 already, this might be something for you, or this definitely is something for you. This reminds me so much of an ASICS run, it's not even funny. I think ASICS has been very successful with the running silhouettes lately, especially in a very fashion-oriented crowd. I think this thing will appeal to these people as well. I think they're very easy to dress up and a little more difficult to dress down. So if you're just the straight jeans guy with a t-shirt, and you have a certain age like me, you might be looking like that. If you're much younger than that, it probably is not gonna matter. But uh, if you have some sense of sneaker fashion, you know how to dress these anyways. I don't have to tell you, I think, then these are looking awesome. Um, we're gonna go, I think, bottoms up this time on this one. Like I said, this is the 860 V2 outsole here, exact same thing, black, gold and a little bit of white. We have that stability web here on the inside, on the middle part of the shoe as an arch support. Then we have a white midsole, with those gold energy pods. And like I said, the original model had those energy pods also in the four foot section, which looks amazing. What a bummer, it's not available, but it is what it is. Then we have those silver panels with some gold and black thrown in. We have white mesh on the toe box here. It's a very open mesh. I love this. And some more white here on, on this section as well. And we have a gray or silver mesh on the outside at the midfoot section. Same thing on the inside, as you can see, and more white mesh at the heel and at the collar. We have, of course, white mesh at the tongue, black and gold and silver and white and red. New Balance branding here, it says running underneath. So you know that this is a running shoe. We have a black inner liner made out of cloth material. We have a gray insole and the backside of the tongue is a gold material, which really looks dope. Really like this little accent there. Really, really nice. There's also something very interesting. The base layer of this shoe here is gold. So it is shimmering slightly through the white and silver mesh here, which looks really, really nice. Um, the lacing is funky, I have to say, because it has these weird oval type laces which get tighter and wider all the time. And it is a little bit complicated to tie these up or to retie them completely because you feel that resistance when you're pulling them through of the wider areas. It's making this little pop, 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 pop noise when you do that. 
It's a little bit annoying. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these laces or if I'm gonna switch them out to oval laces altogether. But I have to admit, these do look interesting and I might bite the bullet and just keep it that way and just live with it. And the interesting thing about this lacing as well is this lace loophole here is going into the New Balance end, both these sides here. And when you tighten them, it's going to tighten the midfoot section of the shoe, which is going to improve the midfoot fit, of course. Very, very nice and interesting technology. I think the New Balance N here looks amazing as well with that gold outline. Just love stuff like that. They put so much bling bling on two shoe in the 2000s. It's amazing. So, of course, you get some usual New Balance branding. We have some branding here at the heel, like I mentioned already at the tongue. You have the lacing section at the bottom. Of course, the energy logo also has that N. Then we have New Balance logo here at the bottom, of course. And I think that's basically it. Now, one more, that front lip of the outsole also has a golden New Balance logo. Amazing, amazing shoe, I think. Just two things that bother me, as I mentioned already, the lacing is very, very weird. The laces themselves, not the lacing. I love the lacing or the lacing style that you can tighten the midfoot section a little bit more. So it's gonna fit really, really great, I think. Uh, and one thing that I do not really like, someone else made me uh, wear of this, is as soon as you wear them, you have this panel and this panel, which both of them are collapsing as soon as you're wearing the shoe. And it looks really, really, bad <laughs> and so you have big crease going on in the middle of the shoe fortunately it's the inside of the shoe and not the outside but it is what it is i don't think a lot of people are gonna notice that but of course if you're looking down on your shoes and you notice that it's always a little bit bothersome because you want your shoes to look perfect um who knows this is a running shoe maybe you get some other funky creases than them we're gonna see over time but still dope dope model and I'm happy that I was able to get one of these. They're pretty easy to get right now because with the recession going on and not a lot of people are grabbing shoes and which is good because then you can buy a model like this a little bit later for maybe a better price. Sizing, very important. I go with the 2002 R sizing, definitely sized up a half size because I think these run a little small compared to the usual New Balance made in USA sizing. Uh, I'm usually at 12.5 and this is 13 and they fit me great. I think they're exactly the same size as my 12.5 sizes. Um, if you have very wide feet or chunky feet, you might even want to size up a full size depending if you're sizing up a half size and you're made in US New Balances anyways, but half size should be the recommendation for most people. I think these even fit a little bit better than 2002R, which is slightly longer than I need, and these are just great. Anyway, I think that's it for today with the New Balance 1906R, 1906RA to be exact, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't think there's more to add here than I mentioned. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find all this information useful and I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.